Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Halig Petrus. Now up on the top. I've been rather busy. Rather busy prepping for harvest time and trying to work out some things. Uh, you'll notice the forklift is up here as I've made a bit of a deal. To borrow it as we've got we've got quite a lot to do I shall explain to you momentarily uh, we're going to need this up here for a little bit of time the um, guys at the dock and the store are quite happy for us to borrow this for now as we look after it uh, I think I might need to put it there uh, we'll better check the animals don't we there okay so this says it's growing but it's sugar cane. They've definitely got enough grass. Sugar cane, if I just show you. Doesn't appear on this crop map. So in theory you can't grow sugar cane. I also can't remember planting sugar cane. So I don't know if that's actually going to grow or not. If it does, we're pretty, pretty much stuck as to um, what we're going to harvest it with either. So possibly a bit of an issue up and in there. Um, what's is there? Wheat in between here. Possibly. This is ready to harvest, which is good. And this should be ready to harvest. Yes. So, I have brought over these for the red beets. Just check our pigs as well. Yeah, they're good. And the chickens, 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 chickens. Oh, put a bit in for the chickens. So the reason why they've allowed us to to borrow that is because of the sheer amount of leasing we're about to be doing. 
we need a lot of equipment up here as quick as possible because it's the end of September and in October potentially we will be submerged well we won't be submerged but everything around us will be submerged when we have the high tide in October apparently I've I can't remember who it was but someone's on the comments saying that it didn't happen for them but we have experienced it once so we need to prepare for it either way um I have wrote a list of what we need to get boxes we've now got up here the forklift is up here annoyingly I couldn't get the forklift on the trailer I had to drive it up here which is long so Let's look at the now. Ooh. That is interesting. Um, we are going to need the corn harvester. We need to pay attention to horsepower requirements. 50 horsepower. We've got 45 with Massey Ferguson. What's that? 3.3 tons. Five hundred plus. I mean, we're going to have to pay daily fee. We're going to have to use it the next day, probably. Uh, what else do we need? Beat technology. This for the beats. One point six tons, thirty horsepower. Lovely. Uh, don't think we need anything. I like the look of this. Got a drum. I don't know if it holds anything, but we'll find that out. Uh, we need a Halem topper. Dagnamit. Eighty five horsepower. That could be a problem. That really could be a problem. Well, we're going to have to get it either way. 85 horses. We could buy a tractor. But it's micro farming. We're only going to need that. Nice though, isn't it? What have we got power wise? 45, that's nowhere near, that won't work. 30. Can that be upgraded? No, it is just 30. Uh, 
it's going to get expensive then. We're going to have to... We're going to have to... Right, I've got boxes for corn. I've got boxes for beets. I need to think of what to do with that sugar cane because we don't have a scooby-doo about what we're going to be able to do with that. We have got money to buy a tractor, but it does it goes against. It's, that's a big tractor for us. We're going to have to get a tractor in to do this anyway. This tiny field. Um, could lease a tract. Leasing a tractor is actually the most sensible idea, isn't it, really? Isn't it? There's going to be a lot of back tour. This is going to be like a logistics thing, just to get ready, I think. Let's get down to the store. Have a look at just I, 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 I really want that tractor. How much is it? Forty three grand. That's cheap. But it is way too big for what we need and we're only gonna need it. for Halem topping. Should we bring the Massey over as well? We probably should. Just in case. Did something need 50 horsepower? What did we get? That needs 30. The other one needs 50. And how much power have we got in that is 32. Mm. Well. Three point link in the front of this, off we for the weight dispersion. Get down to the store, have a look. Yeah, let's have a look at the sizes of what we've got, see what we can get on the trailer. Work out logistics, it's all about logistics. The smaller journeys, the better. There's no two ways about it. We're definitely going to need more horsepower. And it goes potentially on the front where it should go. I'm not too bothered. I mean, I mean big vehicles wise. Doesn't that spin around the Beltra? Is that a tablet or a mirror?
That's a mirror. Looks like it might spin though. Oh, I don't know what to do, it's not. <laughs> it's not, um... It's not sensible enough, is it really? Is it? Well, it is sensible because you could just get rid of everything else we've got and just have the tractor, but where's the fun in that? It goes against the rules of this micro, even though we're going to need a big bit of equipment just for that hail on top of Jesus Christ, okay. I think we can get these to beat gear on there, but then it's big in it. If we, we're gonna have to, we've got at least we've got to lease a tractor, or we've got to buy that other tractor. Go another word. What do you got? Show me that. Uh, cheap. I need cheap. Just see if I've downloaded anything. I haven't downloaded anything this size. I don't think I've downloaded anything for this either. This level. No. Uh, that's way more than we need. Drag it around 85 horsepower. We could do something small like that. work three points gone like right, that's 42 do we need the three point on the front could we take we could just drive backwards couldn't we just to get it off just to top it What sort of price would we be looking at there? Two grand. Oh. That won't go up. 
side have been quite cool actually. Sixty-two, no, ninety-five, forty-two. That that isn't a bad shout. I don't need any of the bits with it. Is it too big? I suppose if you put, you're going to need it on the front, really, aren't you? Because you're. I want to use our small tractors, if I'm honest. Maybe something with a front three point. Maybe that's the one. It's only seventy. But it's McCormick, not McCormick. What's that? Seventy, so I need to be up and upended to. Well, that puts the price up a lot. I think we've got a decision made for us, and it's that. Yeah. Yeah, that's done. Expensive, this isn't it? Probably not even got that value in the goods that we're getting. The size difference between this and the Unimog. Right, we could go one, two. Pull that behind. That goes on there. Do you think we could probably get the... if I could sneak... I'll just drag it, I suppose, couldn't I walk back? I know what we'll do. Uh, potentially, we'll will the Massey pull that? Let me go and get it. Let's go and get it. I'll be back shortly because ticking through the time here. I've just put the Massey on. Ooh, turn in circles a bit. Uh, no, wrong way. Just put the Massey on the. Um, Corn harvester. That will activate and start running. So it should just about. It should run. So my theory is, in order to save money, I 
On est KO. Round this bush. Telegraph pole. I'm going to take these down. I'm going to top now. And I'm going to take the topper and the fence back. It's quite nice. This turning's a bit. It's not the biggest turning circle on it, but I'll find out even more when we get onto that little area. There's no point getting the big vehicles. The voucher is fantastic. Yes, we've got money. The voucher is brilliant. And could literally just use that instead of any of the other vehicles we've got but it's not micro farming this is too big for my liking anyway it's the smallest equipment we can use at the minute though at the minute smallest available at at the time of the game about to end <laughs> Um, the only thing is sweet corn. I just need to make sure our pigs will eat sweet corn. Yes, they will. Okay, that's good. In fact, I think wouldn't that make base food for them? Otherwise, we don't need this big hunk on the back. We could just get a little we could maze it and just silage it. We So the vouchers sort of the same size as this, which looks fine on the map, just not for not for the experiment that I'm trying to do, which of course is micro farming with the smallest equipment we can get hold of. And that that of course is this stuff, unfortunately. But it's a pull along harvester, I mean that's compared to getting big equipment in. I don't know how I'm going to put all this either by the way. Uh, is that going to fit? Yes, yes it will. Uh, save the harvesting for another episode because I feel like I'll be trying to cram too much in Oh dear. What seems to be happening?
Oh, it's still down as growing. Okay, that's going to cost us. Right, well, that's very me logistics, so wasn't it? So, and that's going to cost us, damn it. I'm going to have to keep the East 2 for an extra day then. Well, it is what it is, isn't it, really? I mean. Yeah, I need to move it because I've got to bring that trailer in. Okay. I may not have thought this through. I also... Set this back, seeing as we've got it. What have we got to go pick up? least I could have put that in the shed actually couldn't I? I could have I've not right what time are we on This is nice, submit. But you could just get this instead of the voucher and just have this for all of the work. About 45 grand. So, if we've got this. We're going to have to keep it for another day. We don't need to bring the Massey over. Is it going to get flooded? I don't know. It won't get flooded if I move it back, will it? I've got an idea. I'm buying a tractor. <laughs> I'm going to buy a tractor. I'm going to go and have a word with them. I'm going to buy a tractor. It's 
it's going to make sense. We've got the money, we can do it. It does, it, yeah, it makes sense. We're going to do that. I will move the Massey back over. Then pick up, yeah, I'll come back to you in a moment. I hope this works. I love the look of it with the, uh, with the drum to clean off the beats. Of course, that is going to be the, uh, the big test on the next episode, isn't it? If these don't work, we're stuck. And the series will have to go on even longer because we won't be able to get if the, if it does flood like it should do. If something doesn't work, we're literally cast away up on up over there. Which is very exciting, let's be honest. Um, I'm going to pop this with the other one. Oh, actually, no, let's pop this round near the sugar beet. I've got this little area here. Swing this little boy round. Right, I shall walk back and um, let's get this in here out of the way. I'm sure I give myself room to get out. Right, let's go and pick up the new tractor. I'll see you down at the store. I know what you're thinking. He's bought this and not the Valtra. I've not bought either of them. Should be a trailer there somewhere, but I can't see it. Oh, I need to drop it down. Should pull it fine. I've got the rotary plough, the tractor. And um, that's for cultivating. Bought it. Tars. Perfect up on our lifted that now. Yep. Perfect up on our 
little small holding with our small fields, whatever we decide to do with them. Uh, let's go around that telegraph pole this time. Oh, there's the telegraph pole. Don't need to worry, I've already done it. <laughs> I did say after we leased one, this is a really good piece of kit, perfect to the series, and I'd like to have one. So I thought, let's just do it. Let's just have it. And why not? It's not cost as much, we've still got 100 grand in the bank. Now, I wonder if that signage is ready to... I should have checked it really when I was dropping the Massey off. If the signage is ready... Then, off camera, I shall... get it boxed up ready to sell because there's no point doing the whole episode of just scooping and boxing I need to do before and then that's if that's ready if it's not I'll have to wait but the next episode we'll be having a go at doing the farming it makes no sense for us to be doing it when we can be looking at everything flooded that'll just make it a lot more entertaining I think uh, I'm going to put that um, oh, I don't need it just yet I can take it up and put it got stuck. There we go. Um, I can open another <laughs> door from this shed that's not used, can't I? Cobble's much good, this not in wheel, but uh, yes, I'm going to have to go up and over or round. I'll take that bucket with us. I can't see for trees.
Lovely. Lovely. I'm well happy with that. But for now, that's where we'll leave this episode for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please drop us a like. If you've not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. If you have, thank you. And if you've got any suggestions or anything you'd like to see happening on the series going forwards, turn the circle, not great on this, but we'll give this a good test out in the next episode. Because we can use it for the corn. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. And bye-bye for now. I've a cup of tea now.